Hello and welcome to this tutorial on basic post processing using Paraview. In this tutorial, we will learn some basic visualization techniques in Paraview, export the field data to .csv file, plot a graph in LibreOffice Suite Calc, and save a screenshot of a view. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, OpenFoam version 7, Paraview version 5.6.0, and LibreOffice Suite 6.4. As a prerequisite, learners should practice on simulating hagen fuse flow through a pipe from the OpenFoam tutorial and Tutorial on using charts and graphs from the LibreOffice Suite Calc. Please go through these two tutorials on this website. Open the terminal by pressing the Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. From now onwards, please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command. At the prompt, type the following command to go to the Run directory. Navigate to the pipe case folder. We have created this in the simulating Hagen Puse flow through pipe tutorial. Type paraform in the terminal to open the case file in Paraview. Go to the properties panel. Scroll down and locate the mesh parts section. Uncheck all patches other than internal mesh. Click on the Apply button in the Properties panel. Click on Solid Color available in the Active Variable Controls. From here, we can change the fields that we want to visualize. Select the U field with the dot, not the one with the box. From VCR Controls, we can change the time steps and run animation using the Play button. Currently, we are on zero time, which is for the initial field. To go to the last time step, click on the last frame button. As you can see, some filter icons are shown here. To visualize streamline, click on the stream tracer icon from common and data analysis filters. From the properties panel, we can change the seed type. The two seed types available are high resolution line source and point source. High resolution line source gives streamlines passing through a line. Point source gives streamlines passing through a sphere. We will select point source. Set the number of points to 1000 and uncheck the Show Sphere option to hide the sphere. Click on the Apply button in the Properties panel. We can see 1000 streamlines passing through 1000 random points within the sphere. This way, we can visualize the streamline. Now, delete the Stream Tracer filter by clicking on the Delete button on the Properties panel. Click on the Glyph icon from Common and Data Analysis Filters. Change Orientation Array to U from the Properties panel. Change Scale Array to U in the Properties panel. Click on the Apply button in the Properties panel. Hide Pipe.OpenFoam from the Pipeline browser by clicking on the I icon. We can see arrows in the direction of the flow. Delete the Glyph filter from the Properties panel. Click on the Clip icon from Common and Data Analysis filters to clip the mesh. Uncheck Show Plane and Invert Boxes from the Properties panel. Click on the Apply button in the Properties panel. This way, we can clip any mesh and visualize internal flow. Delete the clip 
filter from the properties panel. Click on the plot over line filter from common and data analysis filters. Click on Y axis on the properties panel and click apply. A new line chart window opens automatically with P and U underscore magnitude graphs. In the properties panel, scroll down and locate the series parameters section. Uncheck P from that. We will get a parabolic profile for velocity in the graph. Click on the line chart view window and press Ctrl plus S keys to save data. Select files of type as .csv and give the file name y-axis. Click on OK. Again, click on OK with default settings. The data is saved in a .csv file. We can open this file in Labor Office Calc and compare with the analytical solution. Now go to the File menu in the menu bar and select Save Screenshot. Give a file name and select File Type. Here I am saving the screenshot as Velocity with the .png file type. Click on the OK button. The Save Screenshot option window pops up. We can change the size, scaling, coloring and other image options here. With the default values in the settings, click on the OK button. Screenshot of parabolic curve profile is saved in our case directory. Go to the Properties panel. Click on Z axis and then click on the Apply button. Then go to the Series Parameter section in the Properties panel. Uncheck U underscore Magnitude field and check P field. Save this data to Z-axis.csv file as explained earlier. Close the ParaView window. Open the File Explorer from the taskbar. Open the OpenFOAM directory. Here we can see the username directory of our computer. Now open your current user directory. In the user directory, we can see the run directory. Open the run directory. Our saved work is available here in the pipe directory. Now open the pipe directory. Here we can see all files including screenshot image, and .csv files that we have saved. Right click on z-axis.csv file. From the list, click on the Open with other application option. Now click on the View all application button. A list of all the applications available in your computer will appear. From this list, find Labor Office Calc and double click on it. A text import window will open on your screen. At the bottom right corner, click on the OK button. Our file is now open in Labor Office Calc. We have velocity u0 at point 0, velocity u1 at point 1, and velocity u2 at point 2. We have kinematic pressure P, VTK valid point mask, and arc underscore length also. Necessary data to plot the graph is u2, point 2, and P. For this demonstration, I have created a graph on Z axis versus kinematic pressure and another graph for z-axis versus velocity. In the same way, I have created a y-axis versus velocity graph with a y-axis.csv file. Here you can also compare analytical solutions with open form solutions. 
With this, we have come to the end of the tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt some basic visualization techniques in Paraview, export field data to .csv file, plot graph in LibreOffice Suite Calc, and save screenshot of a view. As an assignment, simulate the hagen fosse flow for the pipe of 0.5 cm diameter with inlet velocity 0.05 m per second and outlet pressure 0 pascal. And plot graphs of velocity and pressure in Paraview and LibreOffice Calc. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Please post your timed queries on this website. Do you have any general or technical questions? Please visit the forum given in the link. The FOSSE team coordinates solving feasible CFD problems of reasonable complexity using OpenFOAM. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD, Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Divyesh Varya and this is Sveta Sridhar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.